Hey boys and girls, you've been practicing subtraction all week long and your teachers are really proud of you. The first strategy that you used to help you solve subtraction problems was using objects. Then you practiced using dots to help you solve subtraction problems. Today we're going to practice using a number line to help us solve subtraction problems. So you're going to need all your whiteboard materials plus your number line paper inside of the plastic sleeve. Press pause and when you're ready, come on back and hit play. Okay, so we've already practiced using the number line to help us solve addition problems. There's a couple of the things that are the same when we're solving subtraction problems, but there's a few things that are really important that are differences when we're solving a subtraction problem using a number line. So let's go ahead and set up a problem so I can tell you about the differences when we're using a number line to solve a subtraction problem. Let's start by doing seven minus three. Okay, remember that circle is there because sometimes we might solve addition problems using this number line page. So right now we're doing subtractions, so you have to practice writing a minus sign. When we were solving addition problems on the number line, I told you that you could start with either number for where you to put your dot. In subtraction, you can't do that. You always have to start by putting your dot on the first number. In this problem, the first number is the number seven. So we're gonna find the number seven on our number line and put a dot there. Okay, now the second number again will tell us how many hops to take. But in addition, we were taking hops forward because we were adding numbers together and getting bigger. In subtraction, we're taking away. So we actually need to hop backwards on the number line so that we can make our number smaller. We're taking away from the first number that we have. So our dot is on the number seven, and now we're gonna hop three times backwards on the number line. One, two, three. I ended on the number four, so that tells me that four is the difference in my problem. Seven minus three equals four. Go ahead and read that whole number problem, the whole number sentence. Great, go ahead and uh, erase, and then we're gonna try another problem together. Remember to pause it if you need to go slower for any reason. Okay, this time, how about we do eight, minus five. To solve eight minus five on a number line, I start by putting a dot on the number eight. That's the first number in my problem, the number of things that I'm starting with if, if I was solving a, um, a word problem. So go ahead and put a dot on the number eight. The next number tells me how many to take away. So when I'm using a number line, that means I'm gonna hop backwards that many times. Hop backwards five times from the number eight where you drew your dot. One, two, three, four, five. I ended on the number three. You can circle it if you want to, if that's helpful for you. Eight minus five equals three. The difference or the answer to my subtraction problem is three. Go ahead and say that whole subtraction sentence. Great job. Okay, let's solve one more together. Let's do a bigger one this time. Let's do a number in the teens to really practice using our number line to help us subtract. How about 13 minus seven? 13 minus seven. The 13 tells me where to put my dot. That's where I'm starting. So I'm gonna find the number 13 on the number line and put my dot there. Seven, the next number in my number sentence, tells me how many times to hop backwards in a subtraction problem. So I'm gonna start at my dot and hop backwards seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I ended on the number six. That tells me that 13 minus seven equals six. Now be careful when you're making your hops because sometimes if you make your hops too quickly, you might make hops that are too big or too small and you might not end on the right number. So make sure every time you make a hop that you end on one of the tick marks that shows where a number is on the number line. Today, if you want, you can keep practicing on this number line or if you want, you could work on page 10 in your math workbook 
where you have a whole bunch of subtraction problems that you can solve using a number line. Have so much fun and let me know if you have any questions at all. Bye.